Hey guys, my name is Shandy and I'm the Digital Marketing and Creative Coordinator here at Patio Essentials. And today I am going to be showing you how to remove any leftover wax from your candle vessels once you've burned through them so that you can reuse them for a different project. We really like the idea of reusing our vessels once you've burned through the candle. Um, a couple ideas. These are our mini bucket citronella candles that we've repurposed as succulent planters. Um, they're perfect and adorable and we will have a tutorial on how to do that coming soon so stay tuned. Uh, our medium mason jar citronella candles, uh, I actually use these, the empty ones, as pencil holders at my desk so they're great for small storage and arts and crafts supply. Our mini mason jar candles are also really cute if you want to reuse them. Um, as a planter, but they also make really good office supply storage for things like um, paper clips. One thing that we don't recommend reusing our candle vessels for is any type of food or drink storage. Uh, we just think that no matter how well you clean them, there's still a possibility of some wax being in there and while wax is perfectly safe to burn, it's not something that you want to be eating or drinking. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously some candle vessels that you've burned most of the wax out of. Um, if you look at these, you can see that they've burned all the way down, but there is still some residual wax around the edges. So I have four of our little mini bucket candles here. Um, I have a tong so that I can get the metal wick to tatch her out at the end, a butter knife, and some gooby gone. You're also going to need some hot water, so I have a kettle on the stove behind me. So let's dive in. Okay, so the first step, you're going to take your candle and you're going to take your butter knife and you're just going to kind of stab apart any remaining wax in there so that you can break it up. All right, so once you have all of your wax into little pieces like this, just go ahead and dump that into the trash. And you're still probably gonna have some little pieces down there that you need to get out. Um, if you do, just go ahead and give them another little nudge with the knife. Some of them might be stuck to the metal wick detachment down there and that's okay if they are just go ahead and leave them for now but try and get as much out as you can um, if your wax is really difficult to get out then you can pop it in the freezer for a couple of hours the frozen wax comes out better uh, another way to make this easier on yourself is to follow some best practices before you even light your candles so we recommend trimming the wick to a quarter of an inch and then the first time that you burn it just let that wax pull extend all the way to the edges of the candle and then that will ensure more even burn throughout the rest of the candle's life and it'll leave you with less wax at the end that didn't get burned up. Okay, so then, once you have the very last pieces of the wax out, you're gonna be ready for your hot water. So you're gonna grab your kettle and you're just gonna add a little bit of hot water to each of your candle vessels to kind of melt out that remaining wax. Okay. 
And this is gonna take care of any of the wax that is still stuck around the metal wick detachment at the bottom. So once you've poured your hot water in there, you're gonna to start to see some um, oil-like residue rise up to the top, and that's just that hot water melting down the last pieces of wax. So you're gonna let it sit for about five minutes until all of that wax residue is gone. So once all of the wax around that metal wick holder has melted, you're going to dump the water out. It's okay if there's still little pieces of wax around the sides of the vessel. Right now we're just worried about getting the wax away from that metal piece at the bottom so we can get that out. One thing you want to make sure is that when you do dump the water out, don't dump it down your drain because there are wax particles in there that are not great for your garbage disposal. So I just poured mine into a mason jar that was in the recycle bin and it's going to get tossed. So the next step is to get that metal wick attachment on the bottom of the candle out. And our candles, they're just glued on. So we just have to take advantage of the fact that the glue is soft from the hot water and we're gonna use our tongs and just grab onto it and twist and pull it out. Okay, so now on this one, on all of the other ones, they came out really cleanly, but on this one, there's still a big gob of glue down there, so I'm gonna keep working on that. Well, now that we have all of the wax out of here and the wick attachment at the bottom and all of the glue surrounding it, these are pretty much ready to go in the dishwasher. One thing that you can do before tossing it in the dishwasher is to use some Goo Gone if there's still some sticky residue at the bottom from the glue. Or if your candle had a sticker on the bottom, you can use this Goo Gone as a really easy way to get that off. And then we do recommend putting them in the dishwasher for at least one time, maybe two, if you're going to be reusing them for planters, just because plants really don't like any extra stuff in their soil. And if you don't have a dishwasher, give them a good wash by hand a couple of times before you reuse them. And then they're good to go. Okay, so that pretty much sums up our tutorial today on how to remove wax from your vessels so that you can reuse them. If you come up with any fun ways to reuse our candle vessels after you've burned through them, definitely tag us at Patio Essentials on Instagram and Facebook.